In this assignment, we'll be creating a dog walking flyer for the tutorial in Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is an online software for creating professional looking graphics. So we're going to navigate to Canvas. You're going to go to however you want to get to the assignments, you know, calendar, however you want to do that. So then mine looks a little different, but you're going to scroll down to uh, the Adobe Spark walking dog flyer. This talks about exactly what I said before. This is a tutorial, so you want to follow along exactly with this product. So you're actually going to create the exact dog walking flyer, basically, that I'm showing you. Okay. Then click on this link next to the assignment here. It looks a little different on my side. Okay. But we're going to click on the, this is just the example I just showed you before. Then you click on the Adobe Spark homepage. So we're going to start with signing in. Then you're going to sign up with a Google account. Choose your school provider account. You will choose scum, the company or school account. I chose a personal account. So this is your home page. We're going to start with uh, clicking the plus icon. Now Adobe Spark has flyers a web page and a video. So uh, creating web um, content is still within the realm of graphic design because it's still the graphic design and visual layout. So we'll be doing that in the future products also. But for today we're actually creating a flyer. So we're going to start with root size. I'm actually going to talk about some different sizes that I like in Adobe Spark. But we're actually going to save with the 11 by 17. So, but just for a second, um, a lot of times when you're creating different sizes, it's very hard to know what size you're going to need to create. Like, for instance, a YouTube channel art or your Facebook cover. Those sizes are very uh, hard to know exactly what size you need to make it. So, this actually takes a lot of guesswork out, out of it for you. But again, we're going to start with the 11 by 17 that it has here. So, we're going to start with the color. So follow along with exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to go down and find modern. So we're going to find one, two, three, four, five. So this is a color palette. Um, in graphic design, choosing the right colors is very, very hard. Finding colors that don't clash and colors that work together well with what you're trying to do. Um, Adobe Spark has taken a lot of that work, um, taken a lot of the guesswork out of it for you. So they've created palettes of colors that go well together. And that's what this color palette is. So we click on the dark blue. Um, if it doesn't come in dark blue, so you just click on the shuffle icon until it changes to a dark blue. Yeah, so a dark blue, okay? This is the color you want. Then I'm going to talk about it for a second there. If you're adding, this is something you don't want to do in Photoshop or don't want to do in graphic design, is say you're adding a picture of a dog. Okay. So I'm going to click on it. Move it freely. I'm just talking about this, not part of the project, but uh, this is something, in my professional opinion, I really don't like about uh, graphic design when the people do this. It looks like an image, like your flyer, and it looks like a afterthought of another image added onto it and they don't take the time to make it part of the image or part of your flyer so in uh, Photoshop you actually can take out the background and make it seem like the dog is actually part of this flyer but with the background it's actually the really strong edges here it makes it look like the center of your image and so when we have projects basically um, anytime you do that you're gonna have some points taken off basically because that's something that I don't want to see. It doesn't make your graphics line uh, look professional looking. That was just an aside. But we're going to start with the icon. So if we're creating a dog walking flyer, we're going to actually look for walking dog images. Oh, dog. Oh, uh, gosh. Dog images. So you're going to grab the second one, okay? If it comes up with the wrong color, which it is, you're going to grab the lightest color here. 
And the next thing, a lot of times with flyers, actually something that goes along the top or the bottom, it frames it in. It's really nice. Okay. So we're going to grab another image, another icon here to uh, frame in the bottom. So if he's walking the dog, he might be rock walking the dog in grass. So that makes sense visually. So we're going to actually find a grass image, grass icon. Sorry. So the first one here, and we're going to find the color, the lightest color here. So it's about the same color. So I'm going to bring that down so we have a relationship of the size of grass we want so it doesn't look visually weird. Um, so something about like this. I mean, he's walking through tall grass, right? So um, we're going to make meet the bottom here, but we're going to make overlap. So it should be a continuous piece of grass that goes across the bottom. So then we're going to click and duplicate. Overlap it a little bit. Duplicate again. Overlap it some more. And there's a little bit left, so it should be about four. I mean, it's not exact science, but about four. Um, now, this is some of these universal, whether using um, Microsoft Explorer, Photoshop, Adobe Spark, doesn't matter what it is. This is pretty much universal command. If you want to select something, you just click on it. But if you want to select, you add to your selection, hold down the shift key, and select the other items. So now they're all selected, I can group them together. Now they all group. So now I want to add, there's something, it's missing something at the top here. Okay, so we're going to actually go and add another icon. And actually, let's look up icon as a word. Icon, not can. Icon. And yes, I like the dots here. It's not the right color. Make it the lighter color here. And let's make it a little smaller here. So we should have seen about the same amount of space at the top as the bottom here. And that's about the right size. We're going to duplicate it. Now I just copy it and duplicate it again. Not the right size. Let's move that over. Actually, let's delete these. So delete, delete. I need to make this. I like to have nine going across the top. So I just made. Oh, delete it. Duplicate. I'm a perfectionist, I guess, but still. Um. So visually it looks better with 9. I think the example had 9. So it kind of looks uh, better that way. So 9. So now we're going to bring our guy down a little bit. He's not walking off in the middle of the space. He's walking and visually it looks better with him down at the bottom here. And so it's putting him down um, at the bottom. Visually you would see him not walking in uh, in space like that, you would see him walking on the ground, right? So it makes visual, it makes sense visually. Then we're going to add some text here. So this would be like the title of your document. Um, we're going to start with adding our own text. So I think this is. Toggling service. This is the way Adobe Spark does it. If um, anytime you have a background that's really busy, uh, very similar to like closed captions, it looks like closed captions. They have this background kind of a square around it. That's uh, to make things stand out. But we don't need one because our background is very uh, dark and our text should be light. So we're gonna actually gonna choose shape here. We're gonna scroll up and we don't want a shape. Then we're gonna choose type again. Now I like, uh, what is this, um, permanent marker. Okay, and I think the size we want, uh, if we click on, yeah, the size. And let's make it, uh, make it a little wider here. So it should be two lines instead of three. 
Am I getting enough speed? Yeah, there you go. Um, and then so maybe make this like a 90. Yeah, that looks about right size. Uh, maybe it's a little bit. There's not enough room there because if it's if it's uh, yeah, just not leaving enough room on the edge there. It kind of looks crowded here. So I'm gonna bring that down to like uh, maybe an 80. Okay, it looks good because have uh, this looks about right because the amount of space there on the side here matches that. Then the last thing we need to actually do is change the color. Um, so what we're going to do is change the color, but we're going to use as actually just the exact same color we've chosen for the guy. So it makes him visually and color-wise, it is consistent, okay? So we're going to add some more text. And this should be like your subheading, or now this is like the information of your flyer. Add from, so we actually just, I think, uh, actually just open was the text there. And again, it just breaks in his front marker. We'd have four, but then we're going to go to, uh, this should be a lighter font and not as heavy kind of thing and not as big, definitely. So we're going to choose, um, yeah, this Futuria PT medium. Okay. And then we're going to make that smaller, of course. And that needs to be about so 50. Yeah, I can say 50. Then you want to make that in the middle on that purple line. And then we're just going to duplicate that. Since we already have the right uh, font and the size and everything like that, we just click duplicate and bring that down a little bit lower. To be exactly in line. Okay. So now we actually just double click that. And then we actually just, I think it was an example. It was just a uh, open and from Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pass and done. Um, so we want that to be, oh gosh, one line here, and that should be 50. The same size. All right. It's, uh, is this center time? There, that's on purple line. So then we're just going to choose duplicate again. And this should go. Oh. There you go. Um, and I can click the down arrow to make it have more space. So you want to crowd them together like you did. So double click it, then you can actually change it. And I think this is actually said, um, that's an example. Bring this flower again 10% off. So that was kind of quick, but uh, this basically is, it looks pretty good, okay? It's not much to it, uh, but it's a very strong and effective flyer there. It's uh, It only has two colors there, uh, but I think on the extension, there will be more requirements of more uh, elements and stuff like that, so maybe uh, more information, I'm sorry, exactly. But now what you want to do is uh, you want to download this. So we're going to click download, and we're going to download a JPEG image. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click Start Download. It doesn't look like it does anything, but you will see down here, My Post. Okay. Then we're going to actually, now it's downloaded, we're going to go to our Classroom account. And what I'm going to do is actually just log in as a student. So this is my student right here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this is not my student. So I'm going to log in as a student. Just to show you what it looks like on the student side. A2. So when you click on that link, the Canvas link, it'll look just like this. Okay, it says uh, Dogging Flyer, the Adobe Spark link, and it's the example. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn in that JPEG. So you click Add File, and it saves your downloads. 
wherever that is. And uh, so what we're going to do is actually try and find upload, and we're going to browse. Then we're going to find our downloads here, and it calls it my post. If you want to rename it, you can, but you can just click on my post. It doesn't matter too much what it's called. So therefore, it uploads that. You can click on that to make sure it looks the same. That looks good. Now we click turn in twice. And there you go, you're finished.